Twitter is a great example. Twitter was a very controversial investment. And because at the time, you know, when I met Ev and he was talking about Twitter, so I'd invested in his prior company, Odeo. And so Odeo was a podcasting company, and Apple decides to give podcasting away on iTunes, and they have a monopoly business in iPods. So you're like, okay, we don't have a business anymore, right? There's just no way we're going to succeed at this. And so Ev says, okay, I'm going to give everybody their money back. And, uh, and, I, and I'm like, well, you know, you don't owe me my money back, right? I took a risk. I, I get it. You know, that's startups. You know, it's called venture capital because it's an adventure. You know, that's how it works. And he goes, no, some of my investors are kind of disenchanted. And I think it'd be easier if I just gave everybody their money back. And so I said, well, okay, that's really nice, but I want to put it into your next deal. I don't even care what it is. And, and I said, are you, by the way, are you working on anything? And he said, well, I got this, uh, I got this side project. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's a product, much less a company. Uh, and I said, well, what, you know, what is it? Tell me about it. He goes, it's called, it's called Twitter. It was spelled T-W-T-T-R at the time. And I was like, okay, um, well, what does Twitter do? And he goes, uh, you say what you're doing. And I was like, okay. And then what happens? And he goes, he goes, that's it. That's all it does. You say what you're doing. And I was like, okay. And, uh, uh, and he goes, oh, and one other thing. You do it in 140 characters or less. Because then we could do it on cell phones. Okay, well, um, is there a roadmap? You know, like, what's the roadmap? There is no roadmap. Uh, what's the revenue model? There is no revenue model. And I said, well, Evan, you know, why do you, why do you think this is a company? He said, well, first of all, I'm not sure it is. I'm not even sure it's a product. But he goes, my theory is that a whole lot of people in this world might want a microblog. And if a whole lot of people want to do microblogs, that just feels big. That feels meaningful. Uh, now, if Evan was a go-with-the-crowd kind of guy, he would have given up way before it had a chance to take off at South by Southwest because everybody was telling him, this is a trivial, stupid thing, right? And you can't even keep the freaking site running, much less does this thing make any sense. And so what I find is that that's kind of where the passion comes in. You know, only you can have a sense for, do you believe that what you're doing is truly meaningful? The, the, the failure mode is that too many entrepreneurs have an idea that is not worthy of their talent and their passion. They want to play the startup game rather than change the world. When you're on something that you think is world changing, you know it. It's like a lot of things that are good in life. When you see the presence of it, you know it. And then you say, ah, all those other times when I thought I was there, this is what it feels like. And Twitter had that feeling.